Have you ever been playing your saxophone, but for whatever reason, you just can't stop your horn from making that squeaking sound? In this video, I'll help you recognize what's causing those terrible squeaks and what you can do about them. Coming up. Hi you cool cats, Cajun here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best tips, tools and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player, master your saxophone faster. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. So, you are playing your sax and it squeaks, especially at a time when you don't want it to, right? Maybe you are performing in front of a live crowd or in front of family members and friends, but don't be disheartened. That's happened to me several times and I can't begin to explain how embarrassing those moments were for me. Now, I remember when I just started playing the sax, I'd borrow a saxophone from the music department at my school and I went home for that weekend and I was just playing and for whatever reason, the sax was just squeaking horribly. Now, when I was practicing, there was no squeak, right? But when I was playing at church, it was squeaking like crazy and I didn't know what was happening. But I want you to stick around because I'll share with you the mistake I made. The first reason why your saxophone squeak is that you have a weak armature. Now, when your armature is weak, you won't be able to play the notes in a steady fashion while your reed is vibrating at a rapid speed. And that's the reason, or one of the reasons why your saxophone may be squeaking. Now, think of yourself as a musical athlete. You have to train your armature because your armature is responsible for more than 90% of the sound that you will make on your horn. Now, if you want to learn how to strengthen those muscles or these muscles, then check out my video in the cards above, how to build your tone in five minutes saxophone beginner lesson. The second reason why your saxophone squeaks is that of a dry reed. Now, unless you are using a synthetic reed, legere reed like this one, you always need to moisten the reed that you are using. Otherwise, the reed won't respond in the way it should. So you have to wet your reed. So the first way to wet your reed, if you're using a cane reed like this one, right? You take the reed and you stick it in your mouth. You wet it, okay? So you wet both sides of the reed and then you want to take it and wet the back part, the thick part that is going to lay on the mouthpiece itself. And you want to ensure that this thing is clean because you're sticking it in your mouth and you don't want to pick up any kind of virus or germs, okay? The second way to moisten or wet your reed is to play it in a cup or bowl of water for 10 to 15 minutes before you play your horn. Now, this way is only convenient or useful if you are at home. So the first way how I showed you, that's the way most saxophone players wet their reed, especially when out gigging or performing. Reason number three for a squeaking saxophone is that your reed is too soft or too thin or it's worn out. So as a beginner, you want to start playing your horn, of course, with the softest reed, the one that gives you the least amount of resistance, right? Say a size 1, 1.5 or a size 2. Now, as your armature develops, then you increase the size of your reed, like the development of your muscles. The bigger these triceps, right, the more weight you can lift, the, the bigger the dumbbell you can lift. Additionally, you may have been playing on a reed for a long period of time. And because of that, the reed is worn out and so it becomes so soft that while it vibrates, it cannot handle the pressure and that's why it causes the saxophone to make that squeaking sound no matter what you do. Following that is that the reed is broken and that's tip number four. So there is a split on the reed in the tip of the reed and that is caused by several reasons. Maybe lack of care 
or maybe you were playing and when you were putting the mouthpiece in, there was a nick and that caused the reed to be broken. And because of that broken piece of equipment, it makes your playing sound atrocious. The fifth reason your saxophone may be squeaking is that you are overbiting. So when you're playing the saxophone, you are suffocating the reed because you are placing too much pressure there. Hence, the reed cannot vibrate naturally because of its suffocation. And that is what is causing the squeak, especially when you are playing in the upper registers of the horn. Reason number six is that the horn is not properly assembled. It means that when you were putting your horn together to play, you didn't tighten some of the screws. Like here, see? This is missing. I did this for demonstration purposes, right? The screws are loose on both the neck and the mouthpiece. Also, if the mouthpiece aren't properly aligned, so if you notice in this video, see my saxophone right now, the mouthpiece is going one way and the neck is going another way and therefore that will cause you to squeak. Reason number seven is that you are playing some wrong notes. Now, this one I've experienced several times over. So your ears, your fingers, and your armature becomes acutely aware of all that you do on your sax after playing it for some period of time. So when you play wrong notes, you will squeak. An example of this is that you are playing, let's say, in the key of F major. If you're playing the alto sax and uh, B flat major, if you're playing the tenor, and that would be concert A flat. So when you are pl to play the note B flat for alto and D for tenor players, then what you find happen there is a sudden squeak. Now, if you are not sure or if this has not happened to you before, I want you to try the next time you practice or you're playing, deliberately play a wrong note where you know you should be playing the correct note and see what happens if you've been playing your saxophone for a while. Reason number eight is that a screw or two may be missing or loose, right? And this can be anywhere on the horn. And you want to ensure and make a check that all screws are in their rightful position and are properly tightened. Now, if all is well with the screws, then check the previous reasons and the final two to come. A screw may not be missing, but one may be loose, right? And that happened to me one time where I had a screw down here that was loose. And no matter what I did, the horn would just squeak, especially when I played in the upper register of my horn. Reason number nine is that there is another mechanical issue, which is a leaking saxophone. The biggest culprit, I think, of all squeaking issues, right? Now, most videos that you'll find on YouTube will really address the leaking going on underneath your pad holes which is really good and well okay but there are other places on the horn that leaks may exist like for example up here see this is a very loose mouthpiece on the cork because the cork of the mouthpiece has shrunken due to the fact that one the this opening here on the mouthpiece was too narrow and as i left it on the horn over an extended period of time then what happened was that the cork on the neck died eventually, right? Now, in another lesson, I'll show you a quick fix that you can use if you cannot get to a saxophone repairer and what you can do to fix it in the meantime, okay? Another thing that you should also check is that when you place the reed on the mouthpiece, okay, after you have assembled the mouthpiece and the reed, you want to check that the reed and the mouthpiece are properly assembled. And the best way to do this is to do what you call the suction test. After assembling the reed and the mouthpiece, you place the back part in the palm of your hand and then you suck the air while covering this section. You suck the air out of it and wait until it pops. And once you hear that popping sound where the reed goes, then you know there's no air escaping. So you do it like this. Okay. And the reed and the mouthpiece just pop and there's that sound there. And therefore, you know that your mouthpiece is properly aligned. 
The final reason why your horn may be squeaking is that something is stuck in your horn. Now, remember earlier I told you what happened to me at my church while playing, right? How the horn was squeaking. Well, it turned out that I left a swab cloth like this one down in the horn and I didn't recognize it because I was still new in the playing sax business. And that was like what caused the craziest thing to happen that I just squeaked like crazy while I was playing, right? Another thing that I used to do in the past that I don't do anymore was to leave my mouthpiece and my neck, especially after gigging at one place and heading to another gig, I would wrap this in a swap cloth and I would stick it down in the bell of the horn like this because I didn't want to disassemble the mouthpiece and the neck because I thought it easier going to the next gig if I just pull the thing out, put it back together and just begin to play. But I'd advise you not to do that. It's not safe. And a friend of mine recently shared with me, not long ago, maybe a few months ago, where she went to a gig and or a function and she played and she did that. And what happened, this part, the cap, which goes on the mouthpiece to protect your reed, was stuck in the bell of the horn and went somewhere in the body up here and she had to take it to a uh, sax repairs man to get it out. So you don't want to do that either. Don't practice putting the neck and the mouthpiece down in the bell of your horn. So those are the 10 most significant reasons why your saxophone may have squeaking issues. Now, if you've ever encountered any squeaking issue with your saxophone, and you eventually resolved the situation, I want you to leave a comment below as to what caused it and how you were able to solve the problem so that you can contribute to helping our community right here. As always, push play until something happens.